Well, hello everyone, Tex88 here, and welcome to week 21 of 52 as we take a look at the 21st game in the in the in the Active Enterprises Action 52 compilation released for the Sega Genesis in 1993. And as we can see, week 21 is called Intruder. And how does um, how does an intruder get into a house? Intruder window. Yeah, I'll get my coat. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's just get on with this. So I can shoot. Uh, even though, and so it's not side on, so I'm not actually jumping. I'm actually. It looks like it's. A one. So if it, so if anything so much as scratches his Adidas boots, then he dies. So it looks like this is some kind of maze game in which you try and find your way out. Oh, oh I see. I can't. Oh, I see. I, I can't touch the sides. So I've got to be careful not to electro electrocute myself on the sides. Oh. oh, thank God for that. I was worried it's going to be like a lot of the NES um, Action 52 games in which if you went too far forward, you couldn't go back because the, the scrolling only went, went one way in a lot of games went, um, on, that, on that. But luckily, that's not the case in this. So I'll, I'll app applaud a Active Enterprises for actually thinking of that. But that's about the only thing I'm going to thank for because this is still boring. And that, that uh, and the character you control isn't exactly particularly well animated. Oh, for God's sake! Just be careful not to touch that. I mean, I can't help feel. Oh, God damn! It wasn't low enough. Oh, is it? This is putting me right back to the start every time, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. <sighs> Different music, but again, this has one of the one of the other problems shared with the other with uh, with the other um, games which have scrolling like this. Why am I so close to the right hand edge of the screen? And when you go the wrong way, it's exceptionally tedious having to go all the way back. Right, I've just got to wait for these two. What are those things anyway? They look... They look a bit like Daleks from Doctor Who, but with, um, with the flailing arms instead of guns. Oh, oh, come on, I don't think I can touch that. I don't think I can be bothered to play that anymore. Oh, God, what is what is up with that? Because the prizes, these games are boring. Little to no variation. Okay, so that was Intruder. Graphics. I could have done without the the intensity of the blue background. It's a bit of an eyesore, and it wasn't generally wasn't particularly pleasing to the eye. Oh, something less intrusive would have been a bit uh, a bit less of an ocular assault. Animation of the walk cycle of the character you control isn't great. Um, I've seen I've seen way better. Yeah. I mean, about a decade earlier, the 8-bit computers got t got gargoyle ga go go gargoyle games tier nanoch, and look look at the beautiful animation on the walk cycle of of the main character in that. 
and that was 10 years, about 10 years earlier, on an 8-bit machine with way less storage space. Um, sound, usually the same old problem, sparse, um, unimaginative, um, dull sound effects, and, and music that, uh, that, that, is, that is welcome, doesn't really suit the game, and doesn't sound particularly um, amazing for a 16-bit machine either. Gameplay though, repetitive, dull, not, not enough to, um, to keep your interest held for long. It's the usual problem with, with the games that are scrolling on this compilation, you're too close to the edge of the screen, giving you minimal time to react. So yeah. This is another of those games that's not going to help with the final first score. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to catch you on another one soon. Taxi88, out.